Nutritionists are calling on the Allen government to introduce food bans at school canteens. It follows a crackdown on fairy bread in South Australia after last week the humble ham and cheese sandwich got the chop in WA. Dietitian Gemma O'Hanlon joins us now. Gemma, banning fairy bread seems un-Australian. Should schools be forced to uh, abide by these restrictions, or should it be up to parents to decide how to nourish their children? Look, it's a tough one, isn't it? I mean, I grew up eating fairy bread as well. I think fairy bread is really well placed for parties um, and those special occasions when kids can enjoy, you know, these treat foods. But for every day, look, I think we need to focus on getting the foods into the lunchbox that are going to nourish our kids. What we eat and what our kids eat, you know, is, is really the building blocks for, for a healthy life. So we need to make sure there's good foods in that lunchbox. And I think keeping that fairy bread for special occasions and those parties is a good way to go. Yeah, no fairy bread for middle-aged men, by the way. Other dietitians are against these types of restrictions, arguing restrictions aren't the answer, moderation is. What do you say about that? Well, look, when it comes to treat foods, I mean, these are discretionary foods. According to the Australian Dietary Guidelines, they're not foods we should be eating every day. And I think it comes down to, as well, what happens in the home and talking to kids about foods and where they're placed, you know, in the diet. And we know that one in four kids are actually overweight or obese. So, you know, and, and overweight or obesity, you know, is a risk factor for heart disease and type 2 diabetes later in life. So we do we need to make sure our kids are getting nourished and that means getting their fruits and veggies in, their whole grains, their calcium rich foods, you know, all these foods are really important um, and if we have too many treats then our kids just aren't going to get the nourishing foods they really do need. Gemma, many parents struggle with meal inspiration. Um, surely a ham and cheese sandwich isn't that bad for you. Um, our health should be, should we be shaming parents for what they pack? for their kids? Definitely there should be no shaming um, and this is where you know we can have some policies and some guidelines to guide parents to help them make the right choices. Um, when it comes to ham look you know international research bodies have actually classified ham as a group one carcinogen which means that it, there is sufficient evidence that ham is and processed meats I should say in general are linked with certain cancers like bowel cancer. So there is this substantial research base that we now do know and we know that processed meats including ham, bacon, salami, sausages, all these processed meats should be limited in the diet. All right, I'm going to go and throw out my ham and cheese sandwich that I was planning for a late lunch. Gemma, <laughs> thank you. Good to Thanks see you. Thanks for having me, Mike.